Zoom, one of the most popular free video conferencing tools worldwide, is turning in-person events into virtual gatherings with its own rules of engagement and etiquette. Learn from the professionals who successfully navigate the new communication landscape every day. Thanks for watching the Local News Network brought to you by Whole Health Family Medicine in Durango and Kazee Motors in Cortez. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. Zoom's software application is used for global telecommuting, distance education, and social relationships, and it's taking the world by storm. Zoom gained more than 2 million users in the first two months of 2020. The Zoom app was downloaded 343,000 times on one day alone in March, with 18% of those downloads originating in the United States. On average, 200 million people logged on to Zoom every day in March. Zoom appears to be the people's choice because users say it's more reliable and user-friendly than competing software. We asked local business professionals who Zoom nationally and internationally to share their Zoomer do's and don'ts tips. Ginger Jenks is CEO of Magellan Enterprises. She is a master certified coach and YPO certified forum and mentoring facilitator and has 25 years of virtual meeting experience. So first off, everything on video is amplified. So, you know, if you're thinking you're having, you know, not a great day hair wise and whatnot, brush your teeth, do your makeup. Uh, you'll be sorry if you don't, you know, you can check your appearance beforehand by going to zoom and clicking new, new meeting, and it'll be just you in the meeting. So you can see how you're going to show up on the screen. And again, you want to make sure you have light in front of you and you want to make sure that your background is kind of clean. Some other things to remember include smile, you're on camera, your video may start when you join the meeting. So remember that everyone can see everything you're doing. Know how to mute yourself, pause your video, use the chat feature and toggle between the various view settings. Prepare your space ahead of time. Put your phone on silent. Ask others in your house to stay out of your background. Avoid talking over people. And finally, be aware and stay engaged. Practice and preparation can help take your Zoom meeting from good to great. Jenks practices with friends beforehand, and when it comes to a business meeting where first impressions count, be sure to adjust your settings for the needs of the call. When the meeting starts, set the ground rules and go over housekeeping details. Ask participants to practice using the features, such as raising their hands to speak. Hosts should know how to easily mute everyone when needed. If you can give participants a schedule ahead of time of what to expect, that's also really helpful. And if folks are muted, be clear about when it will be their time for interaction and Q&A. Turn off all other programs, especially those that ping. Put a do not disturb sign on the door and avoid Zoom bombers by using a waiting room to have control over who is allowed into the meeting. Most importantly, don't feel like you need to go it alone. Ask others to help monitor chat and request to speak, moderate the discussion, grant entry to the meeting, or share documents and videos. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're facilitating a large meeting, you want to have co-hosts and, and Zoom allows you to have co-hosts. So as soon as they come in, um, you can uh, click on their participant name and then make them a co-host. And then from there, they can start looking at the chat room. They can start inviting people and allowing people into the meeting so that you're not doing it all yourself. So have helpers. Um, also, you know, have, have somebody to help you you know, if you see somebody waving their hand and you've got 50 people on the screen and you might not notice it, you know, have somebody then come in and go, hey, we've got so-and-so that has a question. Um, and then, you know, ask, um, have their name stated and then let them ask their question. So, you know, again, ask for help when you need it. Um, there are lots of people that know what they're doing and that can, that can assist you with this and make it run so much easier so that you don't look like you're trying to run five things at once on a screen. Our local experts encourage hosts to help their audience stay engaged and avoid multitasking by introducing a little fun when appropriate. Things like this are fun in like business after hours. It allows people to express themselves 
even through a medium like this, um, a little bit of their personality comes out. Uh, it allows people to relax a little bit and have a little bit of fun. It's socializing, and that's what the chambers really do. Experienced professionals say that video conferencing may become the norm for conducting business as the COVID-19 threat subsides. And so my belief is that there's going to be a lot more video conferencing even after things get back to normal, and it will become a competency that people need to have. For more information, visit Zoom's Help Center at support.zoom.us. Thanks for watching the local news network, created locally, delivered locally, and supported by local businesses. I'm Wendy Graham Settle.